Hello, my name is Shuttle and welcome back for another episode of Shadow Empire. In previous episode, we, well, we discovered quite a bit of fuel. Uh, we've got one there, then we've got the one that we already are using, then there's one over here. We also have the metal over there. Uh, but yeah, we found a decent bit of that. We also started to pushing a little bit further south, I think. Although there's still a massive amount of these uh, animals in here, so I don't think we can necessarily go all that far. And these two, I don't think we can actually penetrate them even with the artillery right now. This one's a lot easier, but the numbers are massive, so if we try to attack there, it will end up badly. We did already move a lot of the troops uh, last episode. I'm just going to quickly check a few things, so we are, since there's a new recording session, I need to refresh a little bit. So we did lose a bit of money there. Uh, I suppose one of the things that we could try, do we have any of the taxation? We could try increasing the income tax again. And it's still fairly difficult. No, nope, still didn't work out. Okay. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, there's not too much real we can trade, is there? We could sell a bit of fuel. Not a particularly good price, but I suppose if we were to sell like, I don't know, 500 fuel. That's going to be 50 credits, so that's going to cover at least the deficit that we had this round. And we've got these uh, infantry over here ready to sort of take over this uh, western front here. And this one could then start moving further south, maybe link up with this unit here. And we can set up a bit of a, a front line in here as well. I'll start pushing further. Once we get to the plains over here, things are going to get a little bit easier advancing and all that. We did also clear up a little bit of the area over here. Uh, so I think what we might want to do is just get like a independent machine gun battalion or something like that to help defend some of this. Like we got the recons in here, we got our militia and then we got the walker in there. Which is already fairly experienced. It's already a seasoned one. I mean it does massive amount of damage against especially like the basic uh, infantry and all that. But let's get to the next uh, turn or round shall we. Okay there's a bit of movement. No battles as far as I can tell though. Later phases of crisis egoism. Okay, two more rounds and that. Ooh, lost rotation score with 10 leaders. Ah, we discovered a, proper le a propeller engine. Um, well. Let's have a look at it. They, no, they're not offering to research that yet. Model design. I think we're just going to give it 50 50 for now. We have already discovered the artillery as a type that we could research. Uh, this little Pazooka and APC that we've yet to discover. A medium tank, I reckon we probably need to... Oh, right, we haven't gotten the light tank yet. So after that, we're going to get the medium tank. And then there's a heavy tank, assault gun, mobile shield, wide area shield. I'm guessing that's sort of uh, maybe either artillery or anti-artillery or anti-air or something. I don't know exactly. I'm just sure that it has some sort of uh, defensive uh, purposes, judging by the name. So we did expand the road over here a little bit last round already. The road is now used quite a bit. So there might be some temporary problems. Are we, we're not building anything, are we? Not directly, no. Okay, well... I do wonder if there's something that... Oh, that seems abandoned. Question is, is it abandoned? I suppose it could be. It is. Hmm, I might want to leave this one. Actually, we could maybe get over there. So we don't really have a lot of uh, good location for supplies in here yet, but what we could do is, of course, build up the road up to there. Now, another thing that I'm considering is I could maybe turn this area into a new city and have that take over a lot of this region. Uh, so if we were to, I don't know, build up a bit of road through here. There's 160 IP there. All right, then. And then what I might also do is start constructing... I think what we'll do is we'll build a port there. It's going to provide a little bit of food for the town already. And it's also going to provide a lot of port production, or uh, port points production per round. I don't know if they are going to be using the port to do any supplies in there. Probably not. But regardless, at least having that will most likely be helpful. Oh, right, so here's the... Hmm, actually, I suppose I could send that one back. And then this one was going to go south through here and link up with this unit. We pull back a little bit. We do still have a little bit of um, industrial points remaining, so I'm going to build a tiny bit of road going south. Not too massive amounts, but a little bit. And then I suppose we'll leave the number ten over here guarding the 
Uh, the supply depot itself, so that's the number six. Number seven, I'm uh, probably gonna go both up here. Uh, the number eight. And number nine. I have them in here right now, so this one can sort of uh, scoot out of this, uh, out to the side there and all that. We do have a militia over here as well. Okay, then that's kind of abandoned. There's a bit of low supply area though. We could maybe just try clearing out a little bit of this uh, surroundings here, just to make a bit of extra room. We're gonna hold on to the future or the port construction site for the time being. And let's have a look at the report a little bit. So we're still losing cash, another 25 credits. Um, we are working on the heavy machine gun infantry army, so then we can get a little bit more effective units perhaps. Uh, light tank is already at 71%. How much do we get of that per round? We got 12%, okay. I mean, that's not too shabby. We're gonna, oh right, 15 points and then there's a bit of bonus in there. Let's have a look at the leaders real quick, because I know that we did lose a bit of relations with them. Um, so who's the worst? That's at 44, Director of Secret Services. Okay, well let's have a look at the stratagem that we had. Do we have anything that would increase uh, relations? Mm, well, I mean, there's that, but that's... I don't know if the leaders are corrupt yet. I suppose in the nation, is there anything efficient to drive? Um, not necessarily. It's all commanders. Which we got, technically speaking, I suppose two or three. Uh, uh, depending if the Supreme Headquarters one would be participating or not. So that's not really what we need there either. We could send a bit of spies, I guess. Let's have a look. So. We send a spy team that's just a tiny bit more expensive in political points wise. Let's have a look. Where do we not have anyone yet? We've got three spies already in Dream Bar. Underground Media Thick has two spies. Oh, Osnabrück. It's a bit difficult though. It's in fact really difficult. I mean, it's a major region, so you know, that's part of the problem there. We don't have any spies in here yet. That might be a good idea to send... Oh, there we go. We just about managed to get in there. I'm going to try to send another one somewhere. Oh, we don't have anyone there either. Or there. Oh, there's not another... Oh, right. There's underground media tech and then there's a large media tech. No, we could probably send one over here at least. Ooh, double the spies. And then we could send maybe a spy or two somewhere else. So, we'll send one there. There we go, that's just created. And what about the Osnabrück? Could we maybe get a one spy in there? Let's try. Oh, we did. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we'll get a little bit of information about them as well. That did use a decent bit of our political points, though, but that should be mostly okay. Uh, we are saving up a little bit of metal and industrial points. I mean, we are going to have to use a little bit for the port in the first place, but actually, how much was it? Uh, it was 200 metal and 100 industrial points for two rounds, so there's a total of 400 metal and 200 industrial points. So it's a decent bit. We do already have the industry and we've yet to discover the power plant or the solar panels. One of those two is something that we need to get for extra power production. I mean, right now we're not running out of power yet, but if we want to expand further than, you know, a little bit further than this, or like, you know, beyond a certain threshold, then we definitely need to get that. Uh, the economic... Okay, we've got 82 discovery points. Let's actually have a look at the in economic council. Or is that in... Hold on a minute. Technology overview. No, it's not there. Oh, actually, let's have a look at the victory overview. So we are the number one in terms of ranking. Uh, we got the most victory score because we got the largest population. We don't really control that massive area of the planet, though. Uh, only 1.9% thus far. So we need to have victory score higher than 50, uh, while the closest competitor has uh, of 25 or less. Oh, right, 25 points less than us. So if we go for, like, uh, beyond 50 points, then they might still be able, or they will be able to have uh, more than 25 points. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of a rough one, most likely. We'll see how it goes. It's not out of the question that we might actually lose this. Uh, run, but it's alright. Well, I suppose that's 
Well, we did move these troops already. We'll have some of these troops move a little bit to the side here. So what do we have in here that's the just a metal miner? Did we have something else in here as well? No, we don't. I think having a truck depot in here might not be a bad idea then. Or truck station. We've got one in Silverfax. Well, that's a bit further away. I mean, we all... Did we have... Right, over there we don't have anything... Oh, we do have a supply base in that. Okay, so that already makes the life a little bit easier, but, you know, it's a bit further away. I mean, there is a little bit of uh, trucks moving in from the city itself, but we don't own that thing. What level is it, actually? It's just a level 1 transport hub. So, yeah, it's not quite as good. But, oh well, uh, let's get to the next round, then. And I do realise that the pace of this uh, uh, Let's Play is a bit slow, but that's just how the game kind of is. Luckily it's turn based, so you have plenty of time to think of what you do, but there's also quite a bit of things that you probably do want to be thinking about. Not necessarily everything, but I think one of the... Ooh, right, actually I probably should have sold a bit more fuel, although I didn't check the price. Oh, I think they are retreating from this area, so we're pushing them into the plains, finally. One more round. There's five more leaders that we lost relations with. Let's have a look at the leaders, so there's... Well, there's 48, so they are still recovering. I mean, neutral points are pretty high, actually. So it's just, uh, you know, we need to get <laughs> a little bit further in there. Um, right, how are we doing the tech-wise? So we're not actually researching anything, because we're trying to get one of these two at least discovered. So we can start researching that one. Then we're going to also get the automated rifle, for example. But until then, we are slightly delayed. Let's just send this one through here, and then I guess that one's the one that is going to be... Projecting the area. Oh, there's something across the lake there. I've gotten a little bit better supplies in here as well. Well, they're not so much on this end yet, but I suppose that's one of the things that I could maybe do something about. Let's just get the road slightly closer. Just one tile. Looks like this one's empty. Oh, there we go. We found some enemies. All right, there we go. So we're almost through the forest here to the south. And over here, of course, we do need to... Oh, there's some of them there. Okay, there's no one on this side. Send the number 7 through there, and the number 6 could go all the way through there. We are going to have to get a bit of road going through here as well. So we have the truck depot there. I was uh, thinking about doing the connection through this end, but it might actually be better just to connect it through there. To the oil. This was oil, right? Yeah, it is fuel. Well, I say oil, but fuel. Potato, tomato. So how quickly? We did actually manage to get a quick or good one round's worth of uh, construction in here, so that's good. Uh, how close are we to the... Oh, we lost another 37. I don't suppose we have any of the taxes stuff yet, either. No, no, no. We haven't gotten any more. Uh, do we have... Oh, why is the level of our... Procratic office on level 1? Okay, so that's one of the things that we could do. Let's have a look at the construction in here. So are we could either... Okay, we can't increase the bureaucratic offices yet. What we could increase, though, is the high command. It is a bit expensive. It's going to take four rounds. So there's 400 metal again. Same as with the port... And it's going to take a little bit more power consumption as well, and a little bit more workers in there. So it's going to cost us a, a lot, but at the same time, it's going to give us a bit of a bureaucratic point production increase there, and a little points of production or bonus points production around is there. I don't know exactly how the bonus points uh, are. Like I think it's just you know, uh, you, you don't get a thousand points per round or hundred points per round extra. It's just you know, it's a, some sort of extra that is multiplied by something. I'm not entirely sure what is what does that. Yeah, city max level 4 or civilization max level 1. So until we get that to, or civilization to level 2, we won't be able to get the bureaucratic office upgraded, which would give us a lot more bureaucratic points up stuff there. But yeah, we'll start upgrading the high command. It's going to take a while, but that is at least going to allow us to get a bit more done in terms of research and get some more bureaucracy, buy some more stratagems and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of things that we kind of need from there. Uh, right, so I suppose one of the things... Well, we don't have any more points since we're doing a lot of construction work and all that, so that's going to delay some of the things. How is the uh, light tank? That's already 84%, so two more rounds, I think, and we'll have the light tanks. Uh, I don't think we'll have the money and or IP and metal to actually build them, but at least we'll have them as an option. We might have to do a bit of trading though, so we can sell. We're not going to sell the metal. We could sell fuel. We could probably sell. Oh, we sell all of that. That's 178. It's 
probably all right. We could sell some of the rare uh, earth metals as well, but the price isn't all that massive. So I'm maybe going to sell like a 25. That's going to give us another 38 credit. So, you know, that's a few rounds worth of uh, money there. But right now, did we, we did move that one, and this one moves south. Hmm. Well, at least it's uh, close to supplies in here, but a lot of our troops aren't really in that great supplies right now, I do admit. But it's just, uh, you know, we're just trying to exploit the gap in the, well, stuff surrounding us here. There's no one uh, stopping us then. Well, of course, we can't, or we can, but we probably don't want to go beyond the supplies, though. Like, at least have a little bit of supplies so the attrition doesn't kick in. So I guess we'll head to the next round. Hopefully the port will be done and we can then maybe start building our new city. Uh, now, of course, it won't have a lot of population in there initially, but there that is where we can start recruiting a bit of uh, colonists, which we can then place wherever we want to. And that might be something that we'll do. I mean, we might... I'll have a look at the city first of all, or Spike first of all, to see how the situation there is. A lot of small movement, but I didn't see any combat. I didn't have any losses, so most likely no combat. Ooh, new Zyker has wandered through the land. We're entering this time of learning. Uh, the effect is you'll get extra research bonus. Let's actually have a look. What does that mean? Oh, right, it doesn't. Okay. Civilization level is a 1.83, higher than the 1.19 we promised to the Syndic Union. Ah, we discovered the power plant, finally. And then there's private investment... Gloria Deep made brilliantly well executed naval attack on Zeus Sea. Zip, uh, six ships engaged four enemy ships and lost two friendly ships while sinking four enemy ships. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Isn't Zeus Sea is the one that we're next to. What do we have? Adventures to cover a special location. Where would that be? All the way to there. Ooh. Oh, it's a hermit. That gives a bit of uh, experience for the governor. Of uh, whichever city is attached to. All right then. Let's see. So we did get the port done. Well, let's uh, have a look at the orders. Oh right, there's slave trader and Frankenstein. Let's uh, take a look at the first slave trader because I believe we are actually losing a bit of population while it is there. So exalting. It's only fifty difficulty, so we could probably exalt tax payment from the slave trader. Ah, we failed. We didn't fail, well, fail by five points. So some of the stuff uh, hurt a little bit there. Right, so contact uh, from the location. Uh, they're requesting that we help them to hold to it. If we do that one, well, it's going to improve relations for pretty much everyone. If we say no, that's going to increase enforcement, but reduce the... Well, the heart is currently the biggest one. Enforcement isn't... Well, it's fairly close I suppose but yeah I think what we'll do is we'll promise that we'll hold on to it uh how long until I don't know how long we have for it but I guess yeah we'll say that we'll hold on to it let's have a look at the reports then so demands Earth of Crescent Easter is 64 We're currently at 60 and then um let's see quality of life has only reached at least 10 points Current is 8 points, so we've got 5 more rounds left on that one, and we need... Okay, we've got 6 rounds that we need to hold on to the uh, town there in the south. The problem is, of course, supplies. Those might be very, very limited. I guess what we'll do is we'll put a bit of road going south, and then these two could start to maybe clearing out a little bit of the path to going further south. That one's still fairly strong. Well, numerous, not really strong uh, group of units there. There's something trying to get through here. Let's uh, close the ranks. I will clear out a little bit of that. And then this could maybe go all the way to the... Well, not quite to the coast, but at least close enough to the coast. I didn't do the orders for the zone yet, though. So that's something that I'll need to do as well. If we want to get some colonists for a city. Basically, what we can do now is we can make a new zone. And it'll be under the first uh, SHQ. Yeah. And now what we can do is we can actually just uh, zone borders. And we'll switch these to be part of the zone. But there we go. I think that's going to be a nice little cutting off point there for now. Uh, let's see. Is there... Okay, there's no enemies nearby. 
at least for now. We're getting the machine gun in here, probably just to hold on to the city for the time being. And then this could be maybe... I mean, this one's got a bit of artillery, so using this for combat purposes could be quite useful. Uh, right, so again, we yet we are yet to do the zone order, so let's do that one. Um, don't really need the public budget right now. I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to put max colonist. We're going to reduce the max recruit a little bit. We've got a decent bit of troops still. I mean, we might need more, but at the same time, I don't necessarily want to cut... Well, actually... We've got quite a bit of population in there, so yeah, we can keep it at 500 recruits. I might put in a tiny bit of uh, signing bonus for the colonists, just so that we can be sure to get them. And then we can confirm the orders there. Now, we don't have a governor over here for the science vessel yet. We'll rename this one probably next round. Let's see, we could probably move this one around. All. Oh. Drag it back to where we've got good supplies at least. Those are going to protect the path going in here. We will probably need to expand this road as well soon enough. But well, it's just our current production is a bit limited. We are doing a lot of various. Con well, right now it's actually just the high command that we're working on. Over here we've got the spaceship. That gives a bit of a research bonus plus. So let's actually have a look at the. Can we see the research bonus point somewhere? Well, there's the tech overview. Can't see it directly there. So if you have a look at the organization, for, for example, the economic... Oh, that reminds me. We need to start researching things now. We'll go for the power plant. We've got plenty of uh, fuel to run it, so that's not going to be the problem. It does require quite a bit of fuel to run, but, you know, we've got several locations that we can build up. So we can definitely live with the, that. Uh, let's have a look at the trade. Is there anything that we could sell? I mean, we've got a pretty good amount of money right now, admittedly. And no, the fuel is too cheap right now. Water is zero credits because water is very abundant on this planet. Uh, rare metals is 1.18 credits each. Not going to sell that right now. Then the machines are 11.4. So not too worse, but you know, I think we'll just hold on to what we have. I think what we'll need to do soon enough, though, is get another set of, uh, oh, another battalion or brigade. Is it brigade? Yes, Brigade. I mean, we could probably even try to go for a bigger one, but I think Brigade to guard this area have some... I mean, I suppose we'll have the independent machine guns that can sit on the uh, city itself, which right now the population is 2,000. It will probably be growing a tiny bit, but not really all that much. It's just a tiny village right now, but it will be growing, whereas uh, Spike is already a minor city. So this one we could maybe try moving, but I'm pretty sure that there's someone in here. So getting through this gap is potentially a problem. I don't know if we can actually hold on to the place. And so it's one of the things that I could do. I could try sending... Actually, no, I do want to keep those in, but I could send in some motorized troops around to help break out the enemy resistance in here. Do these? These do have some artillery. We don't actually need too many troops in Spike itself. I mean, we've got a little bit in there, but that will probably be sufficient. And I suppose now that we start... Oh, right, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, we could go for the military research as well. Call that. Start a bit of research there. We'll go for the automatic rifle. Planes could be nice, but the early planes uh, are usually fairly low range. Like, even getting a one or two hex range for the planes can be a bit tricky. With the... Or basically before you get the... What was it again? Well, there's the light away alloys at least. Well, I'm pretty sure that... Okay, maybe, maybe I misremember the name, but yeah, there's uh, definitely several techs uh, for the air units that will then make it uh, more lightweight, so you don't need quite as heavy engine to have the range, and you know, it just uh, makes it a little bit easier to design. So I'm probably not going to worry about the uh, sort of first-year uh, plane units at all. Not yet, at least. We don't even have the organization to do the designs yet for those either. But let's get to the next round, shall we? Okay, we did get attacked there. We got pushed back a little bit. We lost 300 infantry. We did kill 100 infantry at least. Oh, and we discovered more fuel deposits in Spike. <laughs> well, well, well. We're getting uh, 1400 resource bonus points. And with quality of life score is at 10 points now. And develop model Blitzer. So that's a light tank. It is a bit low supply. Yeah, I know. 
Hold hex. Yeah, I know that as well. Oh, and that reminds me actually, I, I believe in an earlier episode I was uh, wondering how to obsolete this stuff. So what we can actually do is, it's this graph here, it's not necessarily all that obvious. Uh, but you click on the stuff that you want to obsolete on the obsolete uh, section. So those will be obsolete. Uh, these trucks, and these could be at least, you know, low. Or maybe even regular. The line troops could be regular, or the line troops too could be regular, bikers could be regular, blitzer is going to be regular, and that's going to be regular. And once we get in more designs, we can then sort of des designate which ones are going to be high quality and which ones are not high quality. Now we're getting the, oh right, the rifle tech is already at 13, oh wow. Power plant at 6%. Alright, I mean that's at least coming along, and I suppose we'll need to designate what to design next and that's probably going to be the artillery actually let's have a look um average security of zones reached reach at least 55 points uh 49 to 55 hmm. i mean i suppose that council that can stay probably as is so no changes there design target right artillery um right we've got quite a few options in here so the higher the caliber the more hits it will or more attacks per round of combat it will have. But at the same time, it's also a lot more expensive to make. But I think our first artillery will probably be either the 60 or 88 millimeter. We could maybe go for 105 millimeter howitzer gun as well. But the weight does go up quite a bit. And then, of course, the amount of ammo that you need per round goes up. So even with just the 88 millimeters, for one round of firing or one sort of. Uh, combat of firing without, you know, or well, I suppose, yeah, it's what, 10 rounds of firing? So the, with 50 artillery pieces, you'll use 100 ammo per round. So it can get pretty expensive uh, fairly quickly. So I think we'll just go with the 88mm howitzer guns then. And then we are probably going to put in the parrot advisor just to give them a bit more survivability. It's going to take a little while to research that, of course, but that's fine. Charter certainly requires a donation. 236 credits. Oh boy. I don't know if we can really afford that. How much did we lose money? 38. No, I think we're going to have to say negative on that one then. Oh, are you offering to buy... Okay, probably should have checked this one then. So you're offering to buy 167 industrial points for 334 credits. You know what? I will take that. It also increases relations with the Lima Main Maritime Trade House, which I believe is the one to the north over here. A new governor for science vessel? Right, let's uh, get ourselves a new governor then. Do we have other than... Well, we could recruit a mercenary, but I don't think those are going to be particularly good. Let's get a junior then. And then we'll... Oh, suitability is zero. Okay, well... I'm sure that we'll get better in there. And I suppose now what we can do is we can call that... Uh, zone order just to, you know, rename the place. And we'll be calling that somebody one two one two. Uh, right, so we don't really want to have uh, any recruits or colonists from here. Worker salary can be as is, I guess. We'll confirm that. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, we did start getting the colonists as well. Right, let's have a uh, send in some colonists in here as just population. That's going to provide some taxpayers among other things in here. Then eventually there's going to be at least a little bit of a private sector in this area as well. Right now it's a bit limited. Uh, so how much would a set of uh, light tanks cost, by the way? Uh, that would have to be the independent because we haven't gotten any armoured stuff uh, done yet. So light tanks, that's 280 IP and 265 metal. Well, if we hadn't sold the IP, then we would have enough. But that's probably alright. We can live with that. So we'll get a set of tanks later, I guess. So this one got pushed back, so we do actually need to... No, 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 not the race formation. Replacement troops. Uh, so we already had one infantry. We could probably get another one. So that's at least enough to replenish the troops for this one. We did also have the troops in here. We can probably move these closer. That one's probably being threatened fairly shortly. There seems to be something in here. Possibly. This middle section over here seems a bit empty, though. And are we... Ooh, right, that's where the fuel was found. This one, I'm going to pull back a little bit just to get a, to better supplies. These two are still holding. We could potentially send in some more troops to clear this one. Or we could try to surround the enemy. 
just to sort of uh, force it to retreat. I guess this one could be... I'm going to shuffle these two around. So while that is resting, it can still guard the marshlands over here. That one can't really push any further. Let's actually have a look at the history real quick. I know that we are a bit ahead of... or over time already, but... So it was... Dreamers? What the heck are those? Okay, so we'll kill at least one. We lost 300 men. And then there was no other battles. There was a lot of troop movement, I guess, but that's about it. But with that, I'm afraid we are out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye.